All right, so now we're going to install our intake manifolds and our carburetors. Uh, these are 40 IDF Webers. Um, but first off, like these intake manifolds didn't have the studs already in there. I put them in there with Loctite. Uh, so we're going to install the <coughs> intake manifolds. Um, torque down to 12 foot pounds. Um, we have obviously already, you know, put our gasket in there. You're not using gasket sealer. Um, and I personally did a, a decent job of port match, uh, from the intake manifold to the head. Um, I didn't go much further cause I was just a little worried. I didn't want to go too big and then kind of reverse the whole effect of what I was doing. So, uh, but it's going to perform a lot better than what it did was going to without doing that. So get them seated. Alright, so now I've got my intake metal fold torqued down, like I said, about 12 foot pounds. Um, now I'm going to put my carburetor on. First I'm gonna put the gaskets on. That might help. Um I'll show you something real quick before I get too far and forget. So put your gasket down. Um this is a different gasket than one I used to work with, but whatever. So make sure that you've got your fuel line. I mean, this is personal preference, I guess, but it's just going to look cleaner. So the carburetors are set up to be the same. Um, but I want this nipple pointed back. That way when it's hooked up, um, it's pointed back. <sighs> All right, so these are um, CB performance I bought them for PC performance, but they're safe, space saver carburetors. So the manifold is designed to where all the adjustments are, are on the inside. But you want to make sure that your um, fuel inlet is facing back. I mean, it's not going to be in the, the world. It's just going to kind of look goofy. There's no reason to have it pointed forward, I don't think. Um, and you want them both to be on the same side. So. <clears throat> I do washers. Um, no real specific torque, but definitely wouldn't do more than 12 to 14 foot pounds ish. I think would be good. Now we're going to put our next gasket on. <clears throat> uh, before you do this, you want to make sure that your, what you call it, your float's good. throttle linkage going on the suckers so we got our stacks don't have a torque for these but I definitely would not torque them down too much for sure but not too worried about it coming off All right, so now that I got the velocity stacks on here, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so that's as far as I'm gonna go for this video. Um, I'm about to put the throttle linkage on. Just make sure you get this hardware nice and nice and tight, but don't over tighten it, like I said. Um, yeah, if you got any questions, comments, uh, let me know. Uh, please like it and uh, subscribe.